late. Being late. Being late. <laughs> what have I learned this semester? Man. So this last eight weeks have been interesting because every single assignment that I've turned in has been late. And I'll show a picture right here. Late, 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 late. Just completely late. And at first, I thought, okay, what am I doing wrong in this particular area of my life where everything seems to show up late? Is it just the school that was causing me to show up late? Is it, is it this? Maybe I'm just not interested in these assignments but during these eight weeks God was showing me how the university wasn't the only area that I'm late me and my mother who I'm accountable for she's helping me I mean get the APR that I'm getting right now on my Toyota Corolla 1.9 APR if you know about percentages you know that that's a steal and we're linked, and so I'm accountable of taking care of my car notes. But, my leaders, just like the late assignments, here I am late on car notes. And because I was late on these car notes, it was affecting her own credit. Okay? So I'm late on assignments, that affects me, but now I'm late on this very real thing. Something that's connected to somebody else. And it caused a, it caused tension. You know, it caused tension. Credit score lowered. And I asked the representative at the bank, what could I do to improve my credit? How can I fix the situation? And the gentleman just tells me, you just got to be on time. You just gotta be on time with the car notes. That's it. And and I'm thinking to myself, dang, okay, okay. I can do this. I can be on time with my assignments. I can be on time with my car notes. But I realized it was just trickling down to a lot of other areas. Being late on my apartment rent. Just being late in all of these areas, I would have the, the conclusion of this message when I went to see my sister in San Diego. I went to go visit her for her 34th birthday. She's looking beautiful, amazing. And on her birthday, I was so determined to buy her gifts and balloons and, and things and stuff, all right? I didn't go the, the day before. But I went to go get these stuff, and what I'm doing is I'm wasting time, right? She and her love language is quality time. In the time that I went out to go spend, I kept delaying, like, I'll be out for another 30 minutes, or, oh, no, no, give me another 30 minutes. And what happened is when I got back to give her her gifts, although it was a beautiful thing that I did, it was disappointing because I wasted so much time. I wasted so much time that could have been utilized elsewhere. I kept delaying because of my tendency to just continue to be late. And this, it created a moment where we got an opportunity to communicate and talk about this scenario. But what it showed me was, dang, I need to get better at time management. And I told my sister this. I said, Joy, I thank you for opening up because this trip and this one experience helped me see that, man, my time management has to get better. It has to, in order to be able to be consistent. In order to be able to be consistent. And not only be consistent, but be sensitive to other people's schedules and other people's time. Not everybody's time works around your time. Right? You can't just show up to life late all the time. There may be an opportunity for God to use me or use you, but you got to do it in that window. That person may not be there. 
That person you're supposed to minister or talk to, they may not be there. You only had a window to be there. And by showing up on time, you just, you guarantee that you're constantly walking this walk out with God. You know, I learned something. I didn't know that I was going to learn through my university work. I didn't know I was going to learn. I need to start showing up on time. I needed more discipline in this area. And I believe also being disciplined in that area is going to help me with this platform as well too. So that I can be more consistent instead of so sporadic. You know, I want to be able to be disciplined enough to show up to more videos frequently. Talk about more stuff and, and concepts. I want to give you more inspiration and motivation. And connect you with people who want to give you all everything that you leaders need to excel to the next platform. It's about stretching and growing. And so if I want to give that level of greatness to you, I need to be dedicated to showing on time, making commitments and keeping those commitments. I had to apologize to my sister Joy. And I have to apologize to God. I had to apologize to my professors. I had to apologize. You know, life happens to all of us. And while we're going through these life experiences, there is a way to juggle. And I don't know what you may be juggling or what you may be going through. If time management is something that's just tough for you. But my, my challenge today, leadership challenge, is to pray. We're going to pray. We're going to pray about this area. That God will begin to show us how to structure our days. When to be open and available for what? You know, a fresh lens on how the Holy Spirit sees our time. Like we're giving our time to God. We're letting go of the control. Some of you may feel inclined to, to make schedules right away after this. But I inspire you right now to just pray first. Get a blank sheet of paper, pray over it, and, and see what God reveals to you. See what he reveals. It's going to be beautiful. Okay? It's going to be absolutely amazing. We're going to do this together. <laughs> Don't be like me. Showing up to all of these things late. Because God wants to take me somewhere. God wants to take you somewhere. But there's these little things we got to just... Got to find out how to do it. I'm just, I want to trigger that in somebody right now. How's your time management? What does that look like? So, my leaders, I thank y'all for joining me on this platform. Anybody who's not subscribed, make sure you subscribe to Leadership, okay? It is very imperative that we're feeding our minds with just good food, good nutrition, so that we can continue to push forward. My leaders, let's pray. Heavenly Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Lord, I thank you immensely for this moment. I thank you for this leader's life, Heavenly Father. Lord, I thank you for igniting me to speak about time management, Lord. I know this is a different message than I typically post, but God, continue to show me ways that I can expose my own errors so that I may help inspire someone else, Lord Jesus. Allow me to be crucified and submit to the messages you would have me spit. Lord, I pray for this leader right now that they will continue to be bold, Heavenly Father, bold along this walk. That they will continue to look for ways to see where you're ministering to them. How are you speaking to them in this situation? Lord, begin to allow them not to stay defeated whenever they fail. Lord, I'm just asking them to have strength, continuous strength, knowing that they can learn and will learn from whatever it is that they just went through. And Father, I'm praying for peace. I'm praying for clarity to just fall on this individual's mind so that they know where it is you're sending them. Some of these individuals want to know what that six months looks like, what this next year looks like. They want to know what the summer is going to look like. How is it going to look in the fall? Lord, they want to know these things. Lord, I just ask that you begin to allow them to write a vision down. Write a vision down that inspires them and ignites them. Lord, allow them to continue to have patience and not take too much thought for the future. Lord, we cast our anxieties to you. 
Lord, we give away our depressions. Lord, we even give control back to you of things that we're in control of. Lord, we give you the things that we're thinking about way too much right now. And we just let these things go. Father, we ask that you continue to lead us, that you continue to guide us, that you continue to love us, that you continue to protect us, that you continue to build us. Hallelujah. And Lord, I'm just praying a release over this leader right now. That any demonic activity that is happening within their spirits, Lord, you rebuke it right now. We cast it out by the name of Jesus. It must come out by the authority of Jesus Christ. I feel it pulling out right now. The stronghold is gone. Somebody's stronghold is gone. Somebody's depression is released. Somebody's body is being healed. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus, we just thank you for your love and your peace and your presence, Jesus. Hallelujah, Lord. Lord, this leader right now is turning back to you. This leader right now is repenting of a sin. I don't know what it is, but they're repenting and they're turning. Lord, they're rejoicing right now because they feel your peace and your love and your power and your transparency. Father, I thank you for building up these leaders right now. I thank you that they're watching to the end. Lord, I thank you that they're feasting on your word. Lord, I thank you that they can see you. They can see you better than they've ever seen you before. And that's what we've been looking to do. And it's only through your son, Jesus Christ. So, Father, I just give this leader to you. Whew, I give that release. They feel a release right now. Somebody's arm is released. I feel in their left arm is released. Somebody releasing. Whew, somebody's overthinking is gone right now. It's gone. It's left you. You can breathe now. Whew, yeah, somebody's anxiety just disappeared right now. I felt that. Yeah. <laughs> Hallelujah. It's healing right now. In this prayer, hallelujah. If you have faith, if you continue to have faith like a mustard seed, Lord, I just ask that you ignite this leader's faith. Lord, let him have faith like a mustard seed. Heavenly Father, more faith, more faith, more faith. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Mm. The Lord is saying, turn it in. <laughs> turn it in. Turn it in. Turn it in. Turn it in. Right now. Turn it in. Whatever it is, turn it in. You've been waiting too long. Turn it in. Turn it in. Right now is the time. Turn it in. Look through it and just turn it in. Hallelujah. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Ooh, thank you, Jesus. Mm. That spirit of lust, I rebuke you right now in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. You get out of them. You get out of me, you get out of them right now. You spirit of lust, you can't win. Not this season. You're out of here. You're out of here in the name of Jesus. Somebody's delivered from lust right now. Hallelujah. Don't go there. Mm, don't open that door. Don't answer that text message. Hallelujah. Don't go to that website either. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Ooh, we're healing. Somebody's healing right now. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, my prayer is that they feel your love right now. Father God, we thank you. We thank you for this moment. We thank you for this leader's life right now. Hallelujah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for what you're doing. Thank you. Mm, mm, mm. Hallelujah, you can feel your presence right here. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, I love you. This leader loves you. And in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. My leader. God wants to heal you. Release it. Let it go. Turn it in. Turn it in. Give it to God. Turn it in. Give it to God. I love you. We out.